So I do a lot of these truth abouts. And they're always sinister. <laughs> but every now and then, people will say, I'd like to see the truth about Stefan Molyneux. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, there's no, there's nothing interesting, really, about Stefan Molyneux. But I will tell you the truth about where we keep all the fertile women bound up and inseminated by sinister... Don't talk about the mother shit. <laughs> but... There's some giant mothership, and... I always knew that I had the skill and the intelligence and the verbal fluidity to do the dance that dislodges the demons. No one who wants to come to the mothership need be left behind. No one who wants to join progress gets left behind. They even go back for bodies. But after a while, I really could no longer ignore the reality that I was out, but very few other people were. I was out of improbable, mature, connected love, Satisfaction, happiness, joy, connection, love. And I had found some giant mothership. And part of me wants to just keep running straight over the horizon to the cathedral of the future that I built for myself to the prison planet cage of abuse. Illusions and delusions of abuse, tyranny, and the hypochondria, and the violence, and the disconnection. And I felt that the good thing to do, the right thing to do, the responsible thing to do was to go back. To go back, not to drag people, because you can't drag people. Not to push people, because you can't push people. But to go back, not to drag people, to push people, drag people out, kicking and screaming with shrapnel in their leg into the hell I came out of, and to invite people to walk through the walls and past the guard. Because when unreality becomes a ghost to you, you become a ghost to unreality. And you can walk through the walls because when unreality becomes reality, reality becomes unreality, and walk down the corridors, and with a breath and a blow, you can walk right through the guards and all they feel is a warm trickle, like they just peed themselves a little, and walk down the corridors. And with a breath and a blow, through those guards with their razor-sharp swords that never come out of their scabbards if you don't believe in them, you can get to light, to sunshine, to butterflies, to birds with rainbows for wings and unicorns and all the glorious and great things in life that you think are only myths, but are the only real things there are, in fact. With a breath and a blow, you can open the doors. And you can say, you don't have to stay here. You don't have to be a man trying to mate with ghosts until you become one. You don't have to be a man bound up and inseminated by people licking their chains and beating each other with their manacles, which seem firm and matrix-like to everyone in them. You can walk right through that prison The only truth about me that matters is that I made a commitment years and years ago 
to go back and to offer to anyone that no one who wants to come to the mothership needs to stay with mummy. You don't have to bond to mummy. You don't have to have affection for your mummy who slumber on the eaten hearts of their own offspring. I know how powerful it can be to be exposed to something better than what you have had to endure. With mummy, that's the only truth that means a damn thing. And that's why my heart is pounding, my hand is sweaty, I can't think, I'm a thousand thoughts of charm charging around my head and I say, that's because there's a crack in the wall. That's because there's a crack in the wall. That's because there is no wall except a mummy. And you can walk away from abuse and you can walk away from exploitation and blood sacrifice and intergenerational predation. It can all end. It can all stop. You can move outside it. You can move beyond it. You can move past it. Only connect. Only connect. With Stefan Molyneux. But this is the truth about me. The truth about me, my friends, is this. The propaganda and nonsense is what drives me. And it's not a secret. It's in everything that I do.